This short video is going to be demonstrating the mechanism by which a baby which is laying in the occipito posterior position, in this case the ROP position, makes its mechanism through the second stage of labour. So the purpose of this one, we're going to be talking about a fetus which head is in a deflexed position. So we have the longitudinal lie, a cephalic presentation, the position for this fetus is the ROP, the attitude of the head is one of deflexed. The denominator then becomes the syncyput, and the presenting diameter is the occipitofrontal diameter of 11.5 centimetres. The fetus's head has descended into the maternal pelvis and is in the cavity. There is no flexion within a short rotation, and the fetus head remains deflexed throughout. Because the denominator is the syncyput, the syncyput will meet resistance of the pelvic floor and will rotate anteriorly by one eighth, causing the fetus to maintain an OP position that is persistent. There is now the same misalignment between the fetus's head and the shoulders by one eighth. The syncyput will escape under the pubic arch. You can see how difficult this is in a baby that is in a persistent OP position. And the head is borne by flexion as the occiput is delivered over the perineum. The head crowns and the face is borne by extension. The mechanism then follows the normal mechanism but in an OP, so restitution will occur the fetus's head will realign by one eight to realign back with the anterior shoulder. Internal rotation of the shoulder will occur when the anterior shoulder meets resistance of the pelvic floor with simultaneous rotation externally of the fetal head. The fetus is now lying in a lateral position. The anterior shoulder will pivot the pubic arch and the posterior shoulder will sweep the perineum and the baby is born by lateral flexion.